you know, if you, if you have the capital available and you can start a, a larger program, great, go ahead and do that. But it's not about how much you get started with, it's about getting started. We got to get started now because if I get started now, I'm moving forward and I can take advantage of the time that I have. Have the banking process work for you rather than against you. The difference between you getting stressed and staying relaxed financially is who controls the banking function in your life. What I'm gonna do again is I'm gonna dive in and we're gonna to start to examine the process of family banking. You know, families, they all need capital. They all need to use money. They all need to finance cars and those payments are already being made. They're already flowing away from the family and all that power is being recaptured by other people's banks. It doesn't have to be that way. That money can all come back to the family. So we've been taught to be divisive as a family. The wealthy don't talk that way. They, they circle the wagons. They find a way to keep the money in the family and they find a way to share ideas that will help enhance what we're already doing. Now, this picture right here, uh, in my mind, Jason Lowe has set the gold standard as it relates to the process of family banking. Currently, we have 11 policies in our system and we control all of the financing payments in our household. I've been able to recapture the debt on my Ford F-150 by paying that off three and a half or five and a half years early. We have a family construction company. I was able to lend money to the family construction business and buy out some third-party debt on some vehicles that we were financing there because they were already making that payment. And now that payment's coming back and flowing back and staying in the family as well. And so we're starting to expand and, and get um, extended family members life insured so we can expand the policy system and the family bank. But we, we, are, we are following the, in the path of what Jason's been able to do here. You can see that they all got their annual family banking uh, uh, t-shirts on. This is all uh, family, uh, Jason's family members. Each and every person in this picture are all life insured. I believe Jason's policy system, his family system is up to 62 policies now. And they've been able to recapturing all of the financing payments on vehicle loans, consolidations, mortgages, that's all flowing back to the family. And what they do now, they, in fact, they just got back. This picture I believe was from 2019 or 2020 maybe, but uh, this was their annual family banking trip. They just got back from their annual family banking trip. And what they do is meet every year to discuss as do we, how we want to expand the system, how we want to use the system, the progress that we made, and they get to take a trip. And it's actually a, it's a business trip. So I'll, I'll let your imagination uh, go wild on, on what's possible there and what I'm, what I'm saying. Over the course of your entire lifetime, think about all the money that will leave, that leaves your family for all the things that you need to finance, like everything, mortgages, investments, cars, property, weddings, just living expenses in general, vacation, sports, hobbies, the list goes on and on. We can be recapturing and harnessing all of that energy. And it just simply takes time. You know, if you, if you have the capital available and you can start a, a larger program, great, go ahead and do that. But it's not about how much you get started with. It's about getting started. We got to get started now because if I get started now, I'm moving forward and I can take advantage of the time that I have. If I don't get started for five or 10 years, I can't go back in time and, and pay premium. So just get started with what you have rather than trying to wait till you have, you know, a zillion dollars to deposit into a policy system. So add up all of the money that you've earned or earned and spent in your lifetime today. Now that's a lot of money. Could you write a check for that amount of money right now? I know that I couldn't. Fortunately, we're implementing the process of becoming your own banker and we have capital time and, and the process on our side. So we're going to be in a dramatically different situation uh, when my passive income time comes versus it, had I not uh, found this process. So have the banking process work for you rather than against you. We can have the banking process work for us rather than against us. You don't have to get a policy, by the way, or a system of policies with us. There are a lot of people out there who can help you. But of course, uh, we, you know, humbly hold ourselves out as the absolute gold standard as it relates to this process. But just make sure that if you're working with somebody, please, please, please don't do this alone. Find a good coach, find someone who is an authorized infinite banking practitioner through the Nelson Nash Institute. And not only that, more importantly, they can actually show you their policy system. They can show you what they've been able to achieve by implementing the process. It's not just some process that they use to, to sell policies. They're actually practicing what they teach. Households and business owners do it right. Like I said, with a coach, 
uh, showing off uh, widely recognized as the greatest hockey player to ever play the game. They have a great coach. I'm a big football and MMA fan. Uh, boxing, I like that kind of stuff. Every single uh, fighter that gets in there, they're alone in the ring, but they've got a team behind them. They've got coaches. They've got teammates. They've got people supporting them. They eat, sleep, and drink this stuff. So that's what we encourage you to do too. That's why we have the Bankers Vault and, and many other resources that we'll share with you as well. I, you got to excuse me. I'm not a hockey guy. I know I'm a bad Canadian. I apologize. I think this is Connor McDavid. That's just a picture of Jason meeting him. He's one of the greatest young hockey players, apparently, and he obviously has a coach as well. So when you choose who you are going to work with, here are some things to think about. As I said, I might have already got let the cat out of the bag. Uh, you've got to be really careful the life carrier that you put the policy with. You can't just buy any life insurance company with any, or any life insurance policy with any life insurance company. It has to be designed properly and it has to be with the right type of company. Most people who are selling life insurance don't have the expertise in the area. It's different from having a life insurance license than being an authorized infinite banking practitioner. We're all life insurance licensed, but we're also trained as authorized infinite banking practitioners. So make sure you work with somebody who specializes in becoming your own banker. Number three, you should choose somebody who is, as I said, look at that, an authorized infinite bank practitioner through the Nelson Nash Institute. In fact, the Nelson Nash Institute, if you go to uh, the Nelson Nash Institute, you can search for a practitioner. You can search someone's name and they'll show up as a, uh, an authorized infinite banking practitioner in good standing on the Nelson Nash Institute. Now, the reason you should do this in your life now is because you deserve it now. You're working very hard. You're doing all the things that you need to do, but you deserve it. The longer you wait, the longer you penalize yourself. So the real questions are, what's the cost of doing nothing? What's the cost uh, of just one more year of all the money leaving your family and or your business permanently? What's the cost of giving up interest on your money you could have otherwise earned? It's everything, right? It's everything. So schedule your call with us. When you schedule that call, we will send you a copy of the book as long as you show up to that call. Now, the other thing that I would say about that is there's no way for us to hold you accountable to this, but if we're going to send you a book, do us the professional courtesy of reading the book and then maybe even connecting with us to say, hey, here's my thoughts. It's not a fit for me for X, Y, Z reason. There's absolutely no pressure, but, or, hey, I've read the book. I've watched the webinars. I've consumed even more content. I'm ready to get started. More than happy to help. So quick recap of the day. Truth number one, the difference between you getting stressed and staying relaxed financially is who controls the banking function in your life as it relates to your needs. And you don't need to put your money into financial prison and rely on someone else to achieve the abundance, the financial abundance that you deserve today. And you don't have to be rich, as we mentioned, to become your own banker.